I guess. So if you play survival, you will know what the problem with using subgrid is. Uh, first of all, they make your ship rotate even though you're you're not moving it at all. Especially in gravity, you can see that we're moving even though we're stationary. That can cause your ship not being able to be turned into a station. Secondly, they can also reduce your ship's turning speed and they can cause clang. And all of that is basically because the game is treating subgrids as separate grids from the main or the host ship. But there's a trick that people use, which is to use these uh, merge blocks here between the subgrid and the main grid to kind of like combine them into one grid when they are not uh, extended or in use. We're gonna test whether or not that trick actually works. All right, I'm gonna put a helm here and I'm gonna uh, retract the piston. All right, so once the grid becomes one grid, this is taking a while. I'm gonna see whether or not the grid is still rotating on its own and then I'm gonna add some weight or something. All right, here goes. Oh, that's right, I need to combine them manually. All right, no, I think, hmm. All right, no, they're, they're just not close enough. Hmm, well, I guess it needs to be like offset by a bit, so we're gonna add something here and then we're gonna add the merch block here because otherwise it will be like too far apart to actually combine into a single grid there. All right, let's see if this works now and there we go, they're a single grid now. All right, we're gonna stand on the ship here and hmm, so the ship doesn't seem to be rotating on its own anymore. All right, I'm gonna add some weights to the drill here. And well, this seems to be working. All right, I'm gonna detach the merge blocks again and we're gonna see what happens. Uh, reversing the piston and turning off the merge blocks. Oh, oh, wait, I, I guess that was too heavy. All right. I'm gonna be more reasonable here. I'm gonna put like six weight block and all right, mm, maybe a little bit more. There you go. You guys can see that the ship is rotating on its own there and we're gonna uh, retract the subgrid like before. And uh, if this is really working, the ship won't be rotating on its own anymore. Hmm, so the ship seems to be still rotating on its own. Can you guys see that there? It's very slow, but I can see it. Uh, maybe this because the subgrid is too heavy or something. Hmm, let me delete these blocks here. Critical. All right, the ship seems to have stopped, but I'm going to try unmerging the blocks again there. And all right. We're starting to rotate again. I'm gonna merge the blocks again. And we're gonna see whether or not the rotation will stop. <clears throat> Do you guys see that? The ship is still rotating on its own. Oh wait, there we go. We finally stopped. <clears throat> so the trick seems to be working. Let me try one more time to just to be sure. Unmerging again. Whoa, 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 alright, alright. <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh, merging the grids again. And let's try to level the ship here. And <laughs> there we go, alright. So I can still kind of see some movement there. But it finally stopped after a while. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can turn the ship into a station or not. Alright. We're able to turn the ship into a station and back into a ship. And the rotation speed doesn't seem to be reduced by the big thing over there. I'm gonna separate the grid again. And we're gonna see whether or not that affects the rotation speed or the turning speed of the ship. Well, hmm. I can't tell really, but hmm. So at least the trick seems to be working in making the 
but you can see how the ship is rotating on its own there but if I merge the sh uh, the blocks here the ship should uh, stop rotating hopefully um, <laughs> this doesn't seem to be working <laughs> well all right we're we clang there Fuel critical. huh I'm not sure so it seems to be kind of working but not really <clears throat> so yeah, I guess that's the conclusion uh, the trick doesn't seem to 100% neutralize the impacts of subgrids I mean to a very high degree the trick does work in neutralizing a lot of the effects but as you guys can see there, it's not 100%. Obviously for combat ships, I will not recommend doing this even if this works 100% because you can use the PCU for other combat things. But if you're making like a non-combat ship or something and you want to do some stuff that are interesting or useful with subgrids, then this trick can absolutely kind of neutralize a lot of the negative effects of subgrids. So just keep in mind that it's not 100%. So yeah, that's whether or not uh, merge blocks can neutralize the negative impacts of subgrids on space engineers.